Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, what do you say we do a random ranking? Let's go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random. Then uh, let's rank those movies based on whatever criteria we come up with. Um, and then if you'd like, in the comment section, you can rank them too, and you can use whatever criteria you come up with. So mine might be uh, based on the director. It might be the quality, the formal qualities of the film, maybe the subjective qualities of the film, the nostalgia that I hold for that film. It could be anything, and you and I can mix and match them, and you can do the same. So feel free to rank them however you'd like. Uh, but what what are we gonna do? We, we got to get the movies. So let's go get those movies. All right. All right. Let's um. Let's get down low. Should we do them all from the bottom? Maybe two from the bottom, and then I don't know. What's this movie? Wow, haven't seen that in a while. Whoa, wow, oh gosh. Uh, I need to rewatch that one. Okay, so we're gonna get one more. We're gonna pick from over here. Ooh, tripping. <laughs> All right. So here we have Blood Diamond. If I recall correctly, Leonardo DiCaprio was nominated. Five Academy Award nominations, including Best Actor, yep, and Best Supporting Actor, Jiman Hansu, right there. Jennifer Connelly is also in the movie. Um, I can't remember what was the determination of Leonardo DiCaprio's accent. Determination? What was the... What do people think of it? Did he do a good job or not? I can't remember. I remember there was a lot of talk about it, but I honestly can't remember if it was positive or negative. So, um, yeah. I mean, I think I remember liking this movie. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I wonder if it feels like preachy now. Like, like if I were, like I don't know, all these years later rewatching it, does it feel preachy? But maybe, I mean, I think it's probably a good message from what I remember. So even if, even if it is, you know, should be all types of movies out there. Preachy ones, non-preachy ones. But... Seems like an, an important topic that, that should be made. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I remember liking the movie, thinking he was great. And I can't remember, I think at the time, I think at the time when this came out, I actually thought he was better in this than Departed. And he wasn't nominated for Departed. It was the same year. Um, but, yeah, I, I like it from what I remember. It's been a long time since I watched it, but I remember it being a solid film. Next we have... Whoosh, Mall Rats. Mall Rats is a Kevin Smith movie. This was his sophomore effort, I believe is what they call it, the second after uh, Clerks. And I mean, I, I've always loved this cover. It says a lot of cool things about comics back when I was way more into comics and superheroes and stuff like that. Um, and I like all of, I think that's good. Jay and Sound Bob are fun. Uh, just the comedy is really gold in this. Brody is just hilarious right there. What's his name? Jason Lee, right? Yeah. Jason Lee. Why can't I see it? I want to make sure I'm right. Yeah. Claire Forlani. Oh, crushes. The crushes on her. I love Claire Forlani. What if, what if, like, if she and I were the same age, she's another one. That it's like, if I would have met her, I wonder if she would have loved me. <laughs> uh, would she have wanted to date me? Okay. But anyway, good movie. Love it. One of my favorite Jay and Silent Bob films. And then we have an all-timer, a classic, one of the greatest comedies ever made. Right here, we have Dumb and Dumber. Big gulps. Big gulps, huh? <laughs> I was like, that doesn't sound right. Well, see you later. <laughs> we landed on the moon. Um, uh, both of them. I like when he says both. Both of them, with the skis. Uh, but yeah, this is funny. This actually has never before seen footage on it. It's probably been seen by now, but, you know, when the movie came out. Um, but, yeah, all-timer here, funny, Jim Carrey, 94, knocking it out of the park. That was 94 when he was knocking it out of the park, right? Was it 94 or 90-something 90... else? I'm going to say it's a 94. Where is it? He was so good at it. Anyway. All right, so how are we going to rank him? I mean, this one's kind of easy. I remember love, lo loving Blood Diamond at the time, but it's been a long time since I've seen it, so i got to put it at the end there. Uh, it really feels out of place here with these two comedies, doesn't it? So I'm going to go Dumb and Dumber, an easy win.
an easy win. It, it win against a lot of movies in my collection. And then Mallrats, I mean, it's it's a very good movie. Would win against a lot of movies in my collection, but not against Dumb and Dumber. And then Blood Diamond, one that I need to revisit. But honestly, right now I'm more in the comedy mood, so Blood Diamond has to go at the end. I would like to give it a rewatch. When it comes to which one would I like to rewatch the most, it's probably Blood Diamond. I'd like to give that one a revisit. So there we go. We're going to go Dumb and Dumber, Mallrats, and then Blood Diamond. But my question to you is... Have you seen these movies, these three right here? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below, and then perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.